Hey, what is up everyone? These days, when one thinks of Oris, many will instantly think of the Aquas, yet the Aquas line has only been around since 2011. The reason for that is probably how many versions there are of the Aquas. When you take a look at the Oris website, you will see over 50 variations, and not just in different colors. There are date versions, big date versions, small seconds, limited editions like the Great Barrier Reef, chronographs, and now even GMTs as well. It is a lineup that Oris has heavily invested in and has proven to be one of the most popular dive watches in recent years. The regular lineup, known as the Oris Date, comes in four sizes actually. The 36, the 39.5, 43.5, and now the 41.5 millimeter. Is this the Goldilocks of the Aquas line or just another one to add to the ever-growing stable? Let's discuss. When I say Goldilocks, I'm referring to the three main sizes now offered. The 39.5, this 41.5, and the 43.5 millimeter. For many years, the 43.5 was the standard, but recently Oris decided to add two smaller offerings as a good amount of watch enthusiasts prefer a smaller watch these days, myself included. Oris, along with many other watch brands from mainstream to micro, have been capitalizing on this, but I'm not sure if there is another company doing as many size variants, especially of one model, as Oris is doing with the Aquas. So I think at this point, many are familiar with the Aquas and I'm not going to get into all the details of the design as this watch has been heavily covered for years. If this is your first time seeing this watch, know that it has a unique angled case shape and that you are going to be limited to either the bracelet or the Oris rubber strap unless you wanna go for a custom leather. That's something that not only can get expensive, but also I've always seen a few custom strap makers who are really good at, uh, good at it. What I want to concentrate on here is the size. The 41.5 millimeter is the most recent size added, and in hindsight, I wish I had asked Doris to send along the 43.5 as well, so I could compare them. Many watch enthusiasts feel the Aquas were small to begin with, though I guess that depends on your wrist size and personal taste of the watches you like to wear. I never really felt the 43 was small, but it is a thinner diver than most, and lays mostly flat on the wrist, so it does come across as svelte. There were quite a few comments on Instagram when I first posted this, saying that this is going to wear really small. I did post a wrist shot a day or two later, and I have to be real. On my 7.5 inch wrist, I don't think it looks that small. Again, it is all subjective, but it is still larger and wears larger than a 40mm Rolex sub. But if you do not like 40mm watches, you're probably not going to want to compare this to a sub anyways. Sizing is easy with one-piece screw bars, though I still suggest using Loctite when done. Uh, just uh, makes it uh, safer moving forward. Oris uses a wonderful clasp on the Aquas, and for those that actually dive and want to put this over a wetsuit, you're in luck as there is easy access to an extension. If you are wondering if there are any other differences between the 41.5 and the 43 or the 39.5 for that matter, the answer is no. It's just a scaled down version, and of course, ever so slightly. We are legit talking a difference of two millimeters. Now to some, that two millimeters is the difference between too big and their sweet spot, so I get why Oris decided to make all these sizes. The case design, the materials, and the finishing are all the same. Ceramic bezel insert, polished and brushed case and bracelet, and of course that now famous red rotor of the SW200 movement. Only one dial color is offered so far, this deep blue sunray dial, and if you are someone who loves a really vibrant blue dial, this is not it. Between the tone of the blue and how it reacts with the crystal and light, it can look like a black dial at times, actually a lot of times, as you can see even in this video, where it is being lit by three large studio lights. When it comes down to the size, I have no problem wearing it despite it being smaller. I've said multiple times these past few years, I do prefer a smaller watch, especially compared to what I used to wear. But it really all comes down to the watch. If I really like a watch and it curves and fits well on the wrist, even if it's 46 millimeters, I will gladly wear it. Comfort and fit is usually more important, uh, more important than size to me. 
With this Aquas, I do not find it to be small on my wrist, although social media comments would suggest otherwise. It is all preference in the end. But for those that have been hoping for a smaller Aquas and the 39mm was too small, well, that is where this Goldilocks piece comes in. The Aquas is just as well made as any other Oris, as Oris does make a great watch. Prices have gone up, though, and at $2,200 retail, it puts itself in a very popular segment, where the competition is heavy. I have not worn an Aquas in quite some time, and now I remember why. The amount of mere polish is just something I'm not a fan of anymore. I do not love an all-high-polished watch, and even though the case sides and middle section of the bracelet are brushed, everything else is highly polished here, which means it not only looks blingy to me, but it also means it's a fingerprint, uh, fingerprint magnet, and it's also hard to photograph. Honestly, as beautiful as this watch is, I do not even like it on my wrist in photos or this video. Now, if Oris came out with an all-DLC model with bracelet, or an all-brushed titanium version, then I may have to put one back in rotation. So what do you guys think? Is this the new is this newer, slightly smaller, but not the smallest size Oris Aquas the right one for you? Would you sell or trade your 43.5 millimeter for it? Or will you wait until maybe a slightly newer design or new colors come out? Is the Aquas not a watch for you at all, like me? Let me know along with any other questions. Uh, that you have in the comments below. If this is your first time here, please subscribe if you enjoy our reviews. You can follow us on social media to stay up to date. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, if you're an active in uh, Instagram user, give us a follow, or if you already do, turn on post notifications so you will see our feed. If you really like this video, please share it. It helps more than you know.